Hello, this is Mickey Adams in Dallas, Texas. I'm a dealer and a representative for Mullen Pedal Steel Guitars out of Seabrook, Colorado, and I play exclusively the Mullen G2 model guitar. Please check us out at www.mullenguitars.com. Check out the new G2. A few days ago, I heard the song Smoke Gets In Your Eyes for the first time in a lot of years, and immediately I knew I had to uh, make a beginner's E9 lesson for this. It probably lends itself more to the C6 neck, but most of us nowadays do play the E9 guitar, and I know a lot of you beginners start on E9. So I came up with a few effective uh, runs for a melody line for Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, and that's what our lesson is today. This is part one, and this is the verse. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to play in the key of C. We're going to start out with what I call Big Fat C chord. That is 6, 8, and 10. 6, 8, and 10 with the A and B pedals at position number 3. So here's the first phrase, and I'm going to give you guys multiple ways to phrase the same thing. We're going to start out with a... That sets the tone. Here's the first line. Okay, so you get the idea. They ask me how I knew. Beautiful song. Wow. Okay, back to the meat of it. So we're going to strike six, eight, and ten after our little intro bounce, and we're going to rake these. So we're going to go thumb, index, middle, and bring in the A pedal. From here, we're going to raise the A and B pedal. So we're going to strike six, eight, and ten, and then five. Now we're going to depress the B pedal, dampen, we're going to strike 6, 7, slide up to position number 6, and lower our E's, strings 5, 6, and 8. So there's phrase 1. Now let's look at an alternate voicing. Same intro. Stop here, dampen, slide down, lower your E's again. Now we're going to move to a string group of 5, 7, and 8, and then 6. Here's our next note. And our D minor can be found with just the A pedal at number 1 with 4, 5, and 6. Here's our first move from the one chord to the two chord, D minor, excuse me, C major to D minor. Now the next move. Okay, C position, position number eight, start with your thumb and string six. Strike six, five. Now depress the B pedal and strike six and seven and slide to five. And a straight C major at position eight, four, five, and six. Now here's what we're gonna do. Here's our first voicing. We're gonna augment this and then we're going to lower the root as well. This is raising the fifth string and then lowering the fourth string. So we're going to play four, five, and six, raise the fifth, half an A pedal, then the E lever. It sounds like this. And then we're going to blend in the A and B pedals. So we have augmented major seven. It's actually, yeah, still an augmented chord and to the four chord. <coughs> Now let's look at an alternate voicing for this exact move. It would be four, five, and six, 
slide down a half step and go A, B, and F, and then release the F lever. And then just slide up a half step into the F major. Okay, here's our next line. Let's look at this, this actual change. Let's play an F chord at position number 13. Okay, and here's the A pedal. But we've got to raise the root also, so we're going to diminish this by using the F lever. So we have the F lever engaged, and we have the A pedal down. We're going to strike 5, 6, and 8. And now we need a dissonant half step. Okay? So we have the F lever and the A pedal at 13, 5, 6, 8. Now we can just slide the whole augmented position down to number 10 and then use a half an A pedal. Sound like this. Or. Now let's look at this phrase. This is the B pedal down and it's 5 and 6 at position number 9. So we're going to bring in a half an A pedal, and as we move up to position number 10, we're going to strike 5, 6, and 8. Again. Another alternate, <laughs> alternate voicing. We can play it here too. Let's use make the C chord. Let's get our, our triad with five, six, and eight with the A and F lever at position eleven. So we have five, six, and eight. Here's our augmented, and our vertical lever is going to give us our lowered root. Now, knowing how to phrase these things in different positions gives you a lot of leeway when you're, when you're altering the melody line uh, for higher intervals, for instance. And the next phrase. Let's just uh, leave the B pedal engaged at position 10 and strike 5 and 6. Okay. We're going to slide from here all the way to 1. String 7. Slide to 3. B pedal. And then 4, 5, as this, I know, 4, 6, and 7 with a B pedal. five and eight at position number eight. A pedal, back to the A and B at three. Leave the E string uncovered, give you a little bit of uh, color there.
the split move here. This is the A and B pedal at position number eight. Let's look at strings uh, one, and then four, five, and six. And that's the vertical pedal, lowering my, now I have a half stop here, so I can go. This is uh, one and six, four, uh, five and six with the vertical lever and A and B. Release the vertical, slide up two, and use five, six, and seven with the A and B pedal still engaged. That's a beautiful melody line. And in lesson number number two, we're going to work on, of course, the key change, which goes up a half step, utilizing the five chord in the new key, which is going to be E flat. Uh, excuse me. Yep, yeah, E flat, and it's going to go to A flat for the uh, for the uh, course. So that's lesson number one. Thank you so much for joining me here on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you guys at the TSGA next week. This is Mickey Adams in Dallas. See you right back here with your pedal steel. So long.